ES Audio. Hi, I'm John Weeks, and this is the Evening Standards Tech and Science Daily. Coming up, is there a new hangover cure in the works? First, though, something a little spooky and concerning. Scientists have revived a zombie virus that spent 48,500 years frozen in permafrost in Siberia. A team of French professors have isolated several strains of ancient virus from multiple samples of permafrost taken from across Siberia and showed they could each infect cultured amoeba cells. The oldest came from a sample of Earth taken from an underground lake, while the youngest samples found in the stomach contents and coat of a woolly mammoth's remains were 27,000 years old. The team said the fact that the amoeba-infecting viruses are still infectious after so long suggests other viruses in the ice, which they have found traces of, could come back to life. Now, there are concerns over Ukraine's Zaporizhia nuclear power plant after Russian missile strikes cut it off from the main electricity power supply. Energy chiefs have warned the site has just 10 days of power left. Ukraine's state nuclear operator Energo Atom said that the fifth and sixth reactors have been shut down and electric power is being supplied by 18 diesel generators. Russia installed officials at the Moscow-controlled part of the Zaporizhia region, said that a halt in electricity supplies to the nuclear power station from Ukrainian-held territory was a provocation. Now, it looks like scientists are working on a new potential hangover cure. Last year, we told you about a supplement created by probiotic firm Merkel, which breaks down alcohol in the gut before it reaches the liver to avoid users getting a hangover. But this new treatment is a bit different. Researchers in the US have been trialing this injection of a hormone called FGF21. They've injected mice who were drunk, so had taken ethanol, and found that it protected against the sort of loss of balance and mobility that might be associated with intoxication. Our health editor, Daniel Keane, told us how that hormone, FGF21, actually works. Once the hormone is administrated, the study found that it reduced the time needed for mice to recover from ethanol-induced unconsciousness and the lack of muscle coordination, which in other words is, is kind of the symptoms you have when you're quite drunk. But Dan said it's unlikely to lead to an alternative hangover cure pill and instead be used to help people suffering from alcohol poisoning in hospital. If the part of the brain that increases alertness and wakefulness could be activated by this hormone, then we could, in theory, avoid the need for patients being intubated when they have alcohol poisoning, people choking on their own vomit, all these horrible symptoms of severe drunkenness. The director of the FBI has warned TikTok screams of national security concerns. Christopher Wray made the statement at a Senate Intelligence Committee on worldwide threats to US security. He warns that China could use the app to control software on millions of devices and also drive narratives to divide Americans over issues like Taiwan. It's after the White House backed legislation on new powers to ban TikTok and other foreign-based technologies if they pose national security threats. In a major breakthrough, a Japanese researcher claims to have created eggs from the cells of two male mice. Professor Kachihiku Hayashi from Osaka University achieved this by turning male XY sex chromosomes into female XX ones. The technique involves taking a skin cell from a male mouse and then turning it into a stem cell, which can turn into other types of cell. Professor Hayashi is working on developing fertility treatments, and this latest breakthrough raises the prospect of male couples having their own children. He submitted his work for publication in the scientific journal Nature. Coming up, ancient fossils mix up in scientists' seaweed setback. Why not hit follow and give us a rating during the break? Welcome back. A team of international researchers reckon water on Earth could actually be older than the sun. Using ground-based telescopes, they've discovered chemical signatures of heavy water, which is around 10% denser than ordinary water, 
in the rotating disk of gas and dust of a star in the Orion constellation. Researchers say this star called V883 Orion could be the missing link scientists have been waiting for to understand how the solar system and Earth got its water. John J. Tobin, an astronomer at the National Radio Astronomy Observatory in the US, who led the study, said we can now trace the origins of water in our solar system to before the formation of the sun. Research suggests babies born by C-section can receive helpful bacteria missed from the birth process through breastfeeding and close contact. Experts say bacteria account for a majority of the human microbiome, with up to 200 trillion individual organisms living in the human body. Now in a study of 120 Dutch mothers, scientists at the Netherlands University Medical Center found nearly 60% of a baby's microbes come from the mother, regardless of how the infant comes into the world. And finally, research led by Durham University has revealed what were thought to be fossilized prehistoric sea creatures are not actually as old as scientists thought, and are actually just seaweed. The study found mystery remains discovered in the hills of China, previously thought to be 480 million years old, are in fact 40 million years younger, and are green algae as opposed to animal fossils. So what was the confusion? Well, it seems scientists got fossilized leaf-like seaweed confused with what they thought were tentacles. You are up to date. Come back at four o'clock for The Leader Podcast. We will be back tomorrow afternoon at one o'clock. See you then.